I mean, it's, like I say, pure 60s. It's all right, it's a little tin box. It's my tin box. Earl Scott. New this year at the Motor Show is the Murray's It was launched on the public 30 years ago today in the wake of the Suez crisis and petrol rationing. At first, its revolutionary design made it the butt of every joke. But before long, it was proving itself as one of Britain's most successful cars. To the 60s generation, it was a challenge they met with characteristic flair. Success in the Monte Carlo Rally established it as a serious sports car. And if you drive one today, 30 years on, it's not so different from the modern car. So you, and you drive anything else 30 years old, you'll see the difference. It was very far ahead of its time. The birthday party ended with the biggest mini traffic jam in history, as more than 5,000 cars took to the racetrack to win a place in the record books, as the longest ever motorized procession made up entirely of one car. Harry Smith, ITN, Silverstone. Cricket and Lancashire are the new Refuge Assurance Sunday League champions. They won the title in the last over of their match against Surrey. After two weeks of frustration, this was the day Lancashire had to win to make sure of the title. And with Surrey's batting collapsing, Wazim Akram taking two in two balls, it looked like Lancashire wouldn't be facing a daunting total. The catch of the day came from Graham Fowler as Surrey tried to scramble a few late runs. But they were all out for 186. Lancashire's reply was classic one-day caution. The openers putting on 68. Before wickets began to fall and a hint of panic set in. Some big hitting from Captain Hughes left five to win from the last over. Paul Allett settled it with a six from the first ball. But Lancashire's first Sunday league win for 19 years hadn't come easily. We do make things hard work at Lancashire, you know, I mean, we've kept on going for two weeks and, and not done anything, and then we want nine and over for seven overs. We managed to get a six off the last over to win it. That's typical Lancashire, that. And typical celebrations followed. Peter Staunton, ITN Sport, Old Trafford. Golf, the former Open champion Sandy Lyle, has ruled himself out of the European team for the Ryder Cup against America next month. He's been off form for most of the year. Team captain Tony Jacklin said tonight he'd tried to persuade Lyle to take part, but he declined. Finally, the children had their day today at the Notting Hill Carnival in West London. The crowds were down on last year, and so were the arrests. Around a quarter of a million people came to Notting Hill for the first day of Carnival, Children's Day. As the procession wound its way through the streets, the music could be heard for miles. children had spent months on their costumes. Despite the odd grey cloud, nothing was going to spoil their day. For the police, Carnival weekend entails a massive operation. Organised from a central control room, a thousand officers were on the streets, 4,000 more held back in reserve. In fact, there was very little crime today. In total, only 55 arrests were made. At seven o'clock, the order came to close down the sound systems. Sorry to be a killjoy, but... As darkness fell, most had gone after one of the most trouble-free days for years. Robin White, ITN, Notting Hill. And that's the news tonight. We're back at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. But from the weekend team, good evening. Good evening. Well, through much of today, we've endured this rather brisk northerly wind and it's kept things a little bit cool. But by tomorrow, I think the winds will be much gentler over much of the country. But out here to the northwest, a bit of a southerly breeze developing. That's still looking like bringing some rain towards the north tomorrow. But let's start up in the north and northern Ireland, much of Scotland, a fine day. Good deal of sunshine really through much of the day. But through the afternoon, western districts in particular clouding over. You might just see a little bit of rain getting in there by the time the sun goes down. Over England and Wales, I think quite a pleasant day, good deal of sunshine. 
rest of the sunshine in the morning and down through the middle part of the country and along the south coast. Temperatures tomorrow top around 20, 21, 68, 70. Generally though across the country 17 or 18, that's around about the middle 60s Fahrenheit. That's it, here's the summary. Entertainment for Bank Holiday Monday evening here on Granada at 7.30 Coronation Street. No point in spoiling their lunch hour, is it? A shoeman, of course, they're sad to see me go. I'm sure quite a few of them will be, Mr. Borman. Sad to see you go. Provided everything's above board, everything's what it seems. Well, of course it is. How could it not be? At 8, the movie premiere of Cocoon. <laughs> At 1025, Hollywood Ghost Stories. I'm John Carrot, your host on a journey through Hollywood. You see, this town is haunted. Entertainment for Bank Holiday Monday evening here on Granada. Oliver Platt deals in money, Alan Corwin deals in figures, and death can add. Our tale of the unexpected unfolds in a moment. I would feel guilty giving her anything else. And she'd make me feel guilty too. I think I owe it to my cats to give them the best. And anything less than whiskers, I'd feel I'd be cheating on a friend. No wonder whiskers is the most preferred cat food. At the Queensway sale, get up to 18 months interest-free credit on selected lines and save up to half price on selected products throughout the store. Hurry to the Queensway sale. Now on. We've told you a lot about water already. Like to know what improvements we've made recently? Yeah. To improve the quality of water, we've started installing activated carbon filters to extract more impurities than ever before. To help make our rivers cleaner, we've constructed interceptor sewers along 12 of the most industrialized. We're inserting tough plastic linings into pipes to renew them without digging them up. We're using remote electronic detectors to see faults as soon as they occur. All in all, over the past five years, we've spent over 4,000 million pounds updating the system. How much? 4,000 million. There's more to do, but we've done a lot already the 10 water and sewage businesses of England and Wales. Friday the 5th, Mum escaped for the day, so Dad was held prisoner. Where's Daddy? While I got the Finger's crispy pancakes, Dad put on the peas. Oh. Oh, great. New chicken and mushroom. Wicked. And minced beef. I really got stuck in. So did Dad. <laughs> With Finger's crispy pancakes, Every day he's got a different taste. It took that hours to rock her to sleep. Incredible sale of sales is on this bank holiday at Freestyle. This kitchen with solid oak doors is now only £590. Plus these at 50% off. Every kitchen is half price or less. Plus half price bedrooms. All these units for just £299. It's all half price at the sale of sales this bank holiday at Freestyle. Why go to TSB for a pension? I went to the TSB because I bank with them. I have a mortgage with them. My husband does not bank with the TSB, but he has taken his pension out with them. But they had the, the friendliest attitude. It looked good. Made sense. And I'm delighted. No technical jargon, just very straightforward. I'd recommend that the lad who came to see me, who's very good. A personal pension plan with TSB is simple, flexible, portable and understandable. Ask at any TSB branch. The most important thing is to start paying early. Too soon's never too early, really. I don't think that retirement is so far away. Get in when you're very young. Say yes now to a richer retirement. 
TSB. The Australian cane cutting community is thrown into turmoil by political crisis in the 50s. In the small town of Silkwood, family and friends are torn apart. Continuing a saga of tragedy, trauma and passion, Fields of Fire 3 is a four-hour epic drama. Next Friday, 9 o'clock on Granada. This is Granada, and now Ian Holmes stars in A Tale of the Unexpected. Mm -hmm. 